musician and I got a sequencer on my keyboard and um, he said, what should I play? Should I play her song? Um, the only, what I've done in the past, I had put tracks down and I had my music like actually playing um, like in the atmosphere, you know, of a setting or a dinner, anything like that. I And, you know, I cooked uh, my date something in the past and I actually put some tracks down on my keyboard and had it planned through the house. Um, you can do that. I prefer any musician that's talented that has a sequencer, please put your tracks down. Um, do your own romantic melodies because that night is obvious. It's, it's going to be, it's about you and your spouse. And so um, whether you're a female making tracks too, it doesn't matter. You can do the same thing. Um, just because what it do is it bring in a whole vibe and vibe is coming from you because you're setting the atmosphere for you and your date. So just go ahead and just go ahead and just make your own track. Basically, um, I'm making this melody. This is like a I call this the um, romance of the heart. It's a basic small little name for this um, song called "Romance of the Heart." I'm just gonna be pulling out some chords. Actually, I kind of got the best of both worlds because not only I could make beats, I could play too. I could play piano too and keyboard and, and a Fender Rhodes and a Hammond B3. Um, you have a lot of musicians, they can play actually in all their keys and they're really good. Um, like Jamal Hartwell, he's one of them. I met him actually at a Denny's. Um, he's one of my favorite people that I think is an excellent musician, so talented. Um, I love him, he's an he's a excellent guy, so talented and, and just tremendous talent. Um, you got a lot of musicians, you know, they play very well and they're very good, but they can't make beats. And you got people that make beats, you know, can't play. I got the best of both worlds. God, he just blessed me with the gift so I can play and I can make beats. And so that's good, you know. Not to brag, not to take away from anybody or to anybody's gift. But it just is something that I can just do. So I'm like on both sides of the fence. But anyway, I'm going uh, to put down some chord progressions. And um, a little, a little jazzy um, pop R&B thing. I already made the tracks, but I'm just gonna go over the chords right quick. Quick, um, just, just, just give you an ear. Just something, just you know, you can play for a romantic setting, and just something for you and your spouse. So, a nice fender roll sound. I'm just going down.
quick before I go, as you notice in this song right here that there are a lot of brass patches. And all you guys familiar with the um the albums with Paris Love, as you notice that um that young man that I did the tracks, the whole albums for, we did like about fourteen albums for the guy. And even on the album um Bedroom Seduction, um a lot of that whole album I had a lot of brass stuff going on. Um you can tell that my brass background came, you know, style came from Paris Love, you know, and so he's a you know, I love working with that guy actually before he passed away. Uh, great artist, great. I love, I, and actually, I had developed a sound um, from that artist. So, but I thank you for tuning in and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.